from JAX London 2019. My name is Maika Möbus and I'm speaking to Chris Tallinger from Twitter. Hi. Hey. Hi. So I have a few questions to you about Graal. All right. So first of all, what is Graal and in which editions can you get it? So there is a little bit of a confusion in the terminology. So everything's now called Graal VM. Graal VM is basically an umbrella term for different technologies. One of them is Graal VM compiler. That's basically what we use at Twitter. Then there's just something called Truffle, which is a framework to implement language, language runtimes. And then there's something called Graal VM native image. A lot of people are interested in that because you can AOT compile Java code into a native executable. And there is a Graal VM distribution, basically. And there is one called Community Edition. That one's open source and free to use in, uh, in development and production. And then there's one called Enterprise Edition, where you would have to pay a license fee to use it in production. At Twitter, uh, which edition do you use? And why did you choose to use Graal? At Twitter, we use just the Graal VM compiler. So we are not even using a Graal VM build. We, we have our own build of OpenJDK that includes Graal, the OpenJDK version um, that we get from GitHub. And um, there are two reasons for this. Uh, number one, it's a much simpler and easier to understand compiler. So we can do some, because most services at Twitter are written in Scala. So we, we can, and we are actually doing Scala-specific compiler optimizations. A colleague of mine is doing this. And the other reason is, that we save a lot of money by using it. Well, I can't say how much, but it's a lot. <laughs> Were there also some difficulties when you started using it, and how did you overcome them? Yes, there were a little bit. So I would, everyone who's watching this video right now, would suggest to watch my YouTube recording of my talk, because all these questions, I go into detail. I talk about all the bugs we found, right? I go through them by detail, uh, what they were. So we, have, we found some bugs at the very beginning, um, but we sorted them out with the help of Oracle Labs, and we haven't had a bug in three years now. So it's all very stable. We, a lot of the Twitter infrastructure today, a lot of our microservices run 100% on Graal in production. So everything you tweet today is processed by code compiled by Graal, for example. Um, the other problems we had were not technical issues, right? It's more like um, you come into a company, I joined Twitter, no one knew me, and then I had to go to people and say, hey, you want to try this, comp this new compiler? That was kind of, it was more like a sociological, you know, type of issue, but yeah, it's all good. How did you convince them? Well. I'm very good in convincing people. So, <laughs> no, it was it was basically a process, right? We we started running a few instances. We looked at the improvements, what we were seeing. First of all, was it still correct, right? That's the most important thing. When we realized yes, it was, we looked at the performance improvements that we were seeing, and then it was, I say easy, right? I mean, not really, but it was easier then to convince people to actually run the whole service on, on Graal because the, the improvements were so big that, that they said, yeah, okay, let's do it. Um, you also spoke about Graal and the environment. What is that all about? I did, yes. Um, the reason that was my keynote, um, I talk a lot about the, the impact our industry has on, on the environment, on, on climate, on climate change because our industry will grow and grow and grow very quickly in the next 10 to 15 years. And data centers will explode. Com computing power will explode. Data consumption will explode. Our phones will get faster and faster. 5G, more data will be transferred. So I care a lot about, because I'm a performance engineer, right? I care about performance and through that experience with Graal at Twitter where I saw we can reduce for example, in, in the case of the tweet service, that's the example I used at my keynote, uh, the tweet service, we can run the tweet service with 18% less machines, right? Which is a lot, 
right? We can use 80% less machines, so performance can affect the impact on the environment a lot. This is basically where not only Graal comes in, but a lot of other things as well. And that's what I was talking about, yeah. Well, thank you for the interview and thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.